Welcome to Roblox Scripting Tutorials video number two, getting started. Alright, so first thing you're going to want to do is open up Roblox Studio and come over to Baseplate. Alright, once you've got your world loaded up, come over to the Explorer menu and come down to Server Script Service. Right click it, and then come back down to Insert Object, and then click Script and just go ahead and delete everything. We don't need that right now. Alright, so today we're going to be talking about functions. And what a function is, is a procedure that we can call upon to run certain code. Let me show you an example. So to make a function, we type local function. We name our function. In this case, we're going to name it change brick color and then you have to put an open parenthesis and then a close parenthesis and click enter. So what we did, we made a new function by saying local function. We gave it the name change brick color and we did open parenthesis and close parenthesis. Inside our function, we're going to write game dot workspace dot base plate dot brick color equals brick color dot random. Alright, so if you come over to our Explorer menu, everything that you see here is inside your game. So what our script is doing, it's starting at the game, going to workspace, going inside workspace to base plate, and then taking the dot brick color property of base plate, and we're changing it to a random brick color. After that, we are going to write print game dot workspace dot base plate dot to brick color. So we're going to change the brick color to a random one, and then it's going to print out what that brick color is. If we test this now, you're going to notice that it does absolutely nothing. That's because we never told this function to run we have to come down a few lines and write the function name which is change brick color and then open parenthesis and close parenthesis so when the game starts it's going to look at this code and make an and it's going to look at this function and make a note that says if i see this function name i'm going to run this code so for now it's going to skip over that but when it comes down here it sees that function name and the program decides that it needs to run this code. So if we do that, do that one now, it changes it to a random brick color and it prints down the brick color here. So click stop, come back to your script. All right. So you can see that we have to write game dot workspace dot base plate here, and then we say it again here. Let's make it cleaner and add a variable. So remember, variable is local, variable name. So we're going to name our variable my base plate, and we're going to set that variable to game dot workspace dot base plate. So we're making a new variable by saying local. We're going to name our variable my base plate, and we're going to set it to game dot workspace dot base plate. So we can now get rid of this game that works space dot base plate and just change it to my base plate and this one too my base plate so every time it sees my base plate it's going to notice that it's a variable and it's going to when the game runs it's going to change that variable name to whatever we set that variable to so if we test this huh, change it to the same brick color it works. All right. What if we wanted to set it to a specific brick color? We're going to come here and type new, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, and we're going to write new color. We're also going to come up here and write new color. So what's going to happen is when this function is run, it's going to expect a special instruction 
and it's going to name that instruction new color. So when we run our function from down here, we're going to have to give it that special instruction. In this case, we're going to give it the special instruction bright blue. So when we run our function, it's going to send it with that instruction. The function is going to recognize that instruction, name it new color. So when we come down here to set our brick color, it can access that instruction. You can really set this color to whatever you want. If you come over here to the properties menu and click colors and hover over any color, it says what that color is and you can change, you can put that into your code. Let's test this. All right, you see that the base plate changes to a blue color and it changed, it prints down here, bright blue. We're going to copy something we did from our other script. Wow. True. Oops. True do. We're going to highlight this. Click Control X. Come up into our while true do. Control V. Wait for one second. Enter. Now we're going to change it to a bright red color. Wait to one. All right, you can change these colors to whatever you want. It doesn't need to be bright blue or bright red, but for this tutorial, we are gonna do that. And you can also add as many of these as you want, as long as you put the weight one after it. So let's test this. All right, so every one second, it's gonna switch between blue and red. And you can see down here, it prints what that color is. All right, that's it for today's tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed, if you did, hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks. See you guys in the next one. The winner of this week's coding challenge was congratulations. This week's coding challenge will be to spell the word function and make it change from the colors red and blue every one second. Submit your project on discord under the coding challenge channel.